summation of the scrimmage? What did you see from the guys? Well, you know, it, it was good for us to be able to go out there and let the guys play ball. You don't have any coaches on the field. You know, they're they're on their on their own. Um, and at this point in camp, you know, you got three weeks out before you play. Uh, I thought we did some good stuff on both sides. We did some bad stuff on both sides. I mean, you know, and, and we're not game planning, you know, so you're just calling plays, calling defenses, and then seeing how the guys react to it. Uh, you know, there's some individual good, good plays, I thought, um, some really nice plays. And, you know, I think offensively we did a nice job of taking care of the football. I think we had two turnovers all day. Uh, which is good that you like to see that, um, you know, a couple errant throws, um, you know, two interceptions. So um, I think uh, penalty wise, I think we ended up with like 16 penalties, you know, and, and we ran roughly 120 plays. You know, we got to clean the penalties up. You don't like any of that stuff. And, and, and particularly two two penalties on a defense that cost them a touchdown. You know, you know those, those type things will cost you games. Um, you know, but I thought overall it was awesome. We got exactly what we wanted out of it, 120 plays, and, and it's got to see a lot of guys. There are a lot of rushing touchdowns by the quarterbacks. Yeah. How big a part of your offense is that, especially in the red zone? Uh, a lot. It's big. You know, we can go back. We calling offenses from the mid-2000s, you know, where quarterbacks are a big part of it. I, I like putting pressure on the defense with the quarterback run game. And today, we, you know, some guys, Lickty made some, some couple of really nice runs uh, for first downs and touchdowns. Um, I mean, Drogos went 99 yards. I mean, that, that, that big guy can run. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's, uh, you know, that was that was special to be able to see that. But, you know, it's a big part of our offense. Defense is going to have to defend our, our Q run game. And what it does is open up some more, you know, your tailback runs and also some throws down the field. And so, um, you know, we'll, we'll keep working it. Um, you know, not really giving anything away. Anybody seen our offense over the years, they know the quarterback's going to be able to run the football. How difficult is it to hold those guys back in practice? Yeah. Because Emory looks like if he wants to score yeah. any, any old time, yeah. he can. You know, Emory's done a really good job all camp of trying to sit in the pocket, you know, and trying to make the, the throws down the field and, you know, making that run the last thing that he does. Uh, you know, so we really haven't, I don't think, seen a true Emory uh, dual threat yet, you know, and I think we'll see that obviously when we start playing games. But um, I think you can see within the offense what the few run stuff can do when you start looking at some of the other guys and what they do. Uh, um, and we did have a nice, you know, cue draw right here. We got a we got a penalty called on that. But I mean, I think it's going to be a big part of, of his game. Um, but also all, all our quarterbacks. I mean, they're they're all threats to run the football. Has there been any separation? QB two, QB three. Look like Lichty got the, yeah, the early. Stuff. He did. Yeah, you know, Lichty got most of the got most of the twos. And I think Drogosh. You know, as, as we sit here today, I mean, you know, you're looking at you know with Emory and, and Lichty and Drogosh one, two, three. You know, and I, but we want those guys to compete every day. I tell you, what's great about that room, man, is just. There's no egos. They're, they try to help each other. You know, whoever's out there, the other ones are trying to help coach them and make them help right decisions. And I think that's I've always been that way for quarterbacks. We're pulling for all of them. Whoever's out there, make the play. And um, you know, because one play in this offense, one play, the next guy's up, and he has to be ready. And uh, that's how we coach them. Um, and I think you know it shows. I mean, they're all three made plays today, and I think that's that's a good sign for Bearcats. Separation of running backs, or are you still going by committee? Yeah, I mean, we're still we're still looking and evaluating. I think I think that's going to come down uh, to game week. I, I really do. I think we did see some really nice stuff. Um, you know, Miles, man, with a great run. He showed some speed. I think that was a 75 yard touchdown run. Uh, Corey in overtime. I mean, that was a do or die in the end of game scenario, and he takes it, and scores. You know, from 14 out. Um, you know, I, I think those guys, you know, have some great promise. I mean, we're going to continue to compete. Um, but as we stand here today, I mean, I think those two guys are probably one, two, you know, and in any particular order, really, quite honestly. And then we'll see. We'll let these guys compete the rest of the three weeks and see who the guy's going to be. But it's going to take several guys in that position to, to finish this season. Braden Smith caught a mm -hmm. long pass and also yeah. caught a touchdown pass. How big has his addition been since spring ball? You know, Braden is back to where he was two years ago. Um, you know, he played a lot for us last year a little bit. What is old? He wasn't himself, you know, coming off that injury. Um, he's fresh now. He's got. He's showing some speed. I mean, that was on DP out there on that fade route. That was a great play, great ball by Emory, by the way, too. Um, he's been a weapon for us this whole camp. Um, he understands our offense inside now, so we can do a lot of things with him. He can play outside, inside, all the motion stuff. Um, he can throw, you know. You know I mean, he can do it all. So we're, he's a very mature player. Um, so he'll certainly be an asset this year and certainly be used. It's Evan, but you have Wiggins out a little yeah. bit. Uh, Evan got his bell rung, but he looks yeah, like he's yeah. fine. Yeah, I think Evan, you know, I think Evan's going to be fine. Got, a, you know, a couple of <laughs> two big hits, really. Uh, one of them uh, early in the scrimmage, then later on was a great catch. Uh, the next one was way behind him. He makes the catch and gets, you know, pop. I think he's going to be fine. Um, you know, Wiggins out for a few days. He'll be back. He's had a really nice camp. Um, so, you know, and I think uh, we've got some really nice depth at receiver. I mean, I feel good about, you know, at least seven guys that can go out there and help us at that, at that, in that room. 
Um, you know, we feel good about a couple of tight ends, too, in the throw game. You know, um, you know I think Peyton and Shimon, both of them guys can catch the football. Is Evan maybe a little bit farther along than you thought? It seems like he's had a couple yeah, of good days. Yeah, he's had a lo really good last couple of days. Um, you know, Evan has, has really sh shown that he can help our football team uh, out there at receiver. He's tough. He can catch. He can run. I love his size. Um, he'll keep getting better and better over these next three weeks. I mean, he's certainly going to be in the rotation going to be playing for us. The number one defense was dominant early. Yeah. The offense kind of came along. But how, how difficult is it for the offense against that group on a regular basis? Yeah, I mean, when they got their guys out there, you know, with Briggs and Corleone, we kind of held them out a little bit. But, um, man, they're low. They just put so much push on the offensive line, and it disrupts you, you know. And you don't have to cover as long in the back end, you know, when that happens. And, um, and I think they did an excellent, excellent job early in the scrimmage defensively, you know. And then, you know, later on, the offense started making a few plays. But, um, but yeah, I mean, our defense, when they got the boys out there, they're, they're hard to move the ball against. One that, more for Coach. That was a very, very physical yeah, scrimmage. Uh, is, that, is that something you like so you can evaluate each position? Yeah, we, we want to make a game like today for this scrimmage. And, and it's been a tough grind. I mean, we've been at Camp Hartgram for all week now. And, and to come out here and to get 120 plays, got some, got some humidity, some heat out here today, I thought it was great by our guys. Had a lot of good energy. They're flying around. And it's tough physical camp. That's what we want. Um, we, want we want to be that football team, that football team that, that's going to bring it every day. It's going to be tough, gritty. Uh, get after it, never back down, and, and that's what we showed today, and uh, we'll continue to do that over the next few weeks. Thanks, Coach. All right.